Hello friends! If you are joining me for the first time, welcome. If you are one of my subscribers, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. I don't think there's anything I have to cover right now, so let's get into it. We will be doing the Psychology of Religion 4, so let's go! John Bowlby introduced attachment theory as a theory of behavioral systems that evolved in humans and other primates and was designed by natural selection to maintain physical closeness between infants and primary caregivers for the protection of infants from predators. If the primary caregiver or attachment figure is too far away, the infant has a set of behaviors to bring him or her closer. The attachment figure then serves as a safe haven. In the absence of danger, the attachment figure serves as a secure base allowing other behavioral systems to take over, such as exploration and sociableness. Shaver, Hazan, and Bradshaw make a case for attachment theory throughout the lifespan. They posit that adult romantic relationships are part of the system and that the partners in these relationships serve as each other's attachment figures. The jumping off point from attachment theory to religion is the observation that a supernatural attachment figure is available and responsive to believers of theistic religions. The religious person proceeds with faith that a supernatural agent will be available as comfort or protection when danger is near. At other times, the knowledge that someone supernatural is present and accessible allows the person to face problems with confidence. During their first six months of life, infants depend on their caregivers and develop behaviors such as crying and cuddling to initiate and maintain contact with them. In normal conditions, these behaviors are replaced with distal behaviors as children mature. Eventually, children will get to the point where they are comforted by verbal or visual contact and even the knowledge that the caregiver is there is comforting. It is only a small step then to suggest that a supernatural entity can serve the role of attachment figure, yet despite our imagination, it is difficult to attach to a non-corporeal being. So, all religions provide places like churches and shrines where the faithful can worship and be nearer to God. People will often visit these places spontaneously, especially in times of trouble. Bowlby identified three types of stimuli that scientists think activate the attachment system. Frightening environmental events, illness, injury, or fatigue, and separation or threat of separation from attachment figures. People in crisis are most likely to seek God's comfort and support. Believers often think of God as holding their hands Secure base themes are prevalent in Christian scriptures, particularly in the Psalms. Therefore, belief in God should confer at least some psychological benefits. Empirical evidence shows a positive correlation between religious commitment and indicators of good mental health. However, we cannot make the blanket statement that religiosity is linked to good mental health because the relationship only happens at certain points and not others. If the God figure actually is an attachment figure, we should expect other observations of religion to parallel 
attachment processes. Because religion uses the attachment system, we expect to find the emotional and cognitive aspects of attachment. If a person is attached to a deity or other religious figure, we expect the person to love and feel loved by the figure. Attachment theory is not meant to explain everything about religion and religious behavior, but it does give us a piece of the puzzle. We are probably never going to have all the pieces, but that's okay. What makes it exciting is finding out what puzzle piece we will find next. Well, friends, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to catch me on Twitter, and I am also on Discord. Links are in the description. If you would like to donate, you can do it via PayPal. That link is also in the description as well as my source that I used for today's program. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you would like to know when I come out with new content, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Remember friends, question everything and never be afraid. That's all for today. Until next time, bye.